Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. Each week we have these message notes which accompany the message on Sunday morning. You can write in the blanks that are provided or you can write in the margin, whatever is helpful for you. You can doodle if that's helpful for you too. draw pictures or whatever helps you to keep engaged uh, with the message time and beyond. There's also five days of devotional material that is meant for you to dig a little deeper into the scripture and the message. And then we spend these few minutes each, <clears throat> excuse me, each uh, Monday through Friday uh, to further uh, illuminate and uh, try to understand what it is that God wants us to um, take away uh, from the scripture uh, from that previous Sunday. So today's our devotion for Wednesday, December 8th. The scripture from this past Sunday tells about how uh, uh, Joseph, the, the earthly father of Jesus, uh, was made aware of uh, how he was to be the father of Jesus and to marry uh, his betrothed Mary uh, of Nazareth uh, so that they together would become the earthly parents of Jesus. I'm not going to read the scripture. The scripture is Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. Uh, but I'm just going to read the one verse um, where he learns about this. And it says, Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. And that's where we learn about the first characteristic of Joseph, uh, that he is a righteous man. And most uh, definitions of righteousness point to behavioral and the uh, behavior and following uh, of certain uh, virtuous and moral rules. All too often, we think of righteousness as self righteousness, a negative and pejorative understanding of what righteousness means. Often, self righteousness involves hypocrisy on the part of the person who is claiming to be righteous. But there are, I think, important nuances uh, to understand fully what righteousness means within the context of, of community, a community of faith and the community at large. Righteousness is all about relationships, being in a right relationship with God and being in a right relationship with others. Joseph wanted to be in a right relationship, honoring his God, but also honoring Mary who is now to, to bear a child. And, and Joseph knew one thing, that the, the, the son that she was going to bear was not his. So it's a characteristic of saying that he wants to be in a loving and compassionate relationship with Mary. He wants to care for her. I mentioned in the message on Sunday, most preachers mentioned this one time in his or her ministry that, Mary could have been taken out as a, found to be pregnant and, and not fully married. They were betrothed, which is a whole other understanding of relationships uh, info. But uh, she could have been taken outside the, the village limits and stoned to death uh, for being pregnant uh, and uh, not to, you know, before being married. Um, but Joseph wanted to protect her. Joseph wanted to err on the side of compassion and love and, and also being faithful to his uh, relationship uh, with God. And so this angel comes and makes this announcement that he is to be the earthly father of Jesus. What do you think righteousness means? Is righteousness an important characteristic in your life. On, um, on Monday, we talked about the characteristics of our lives and how we are to use those to be the people that God intends us to be and to do the things that God asks of us. So is righteousness an important attribute in your life? Do you value it in others? I want you to think about these questions and how you would define righteousness and being in a right relationship with God and others. Have a blessed day. Let's pray.
Gracious God, we ask that your blessing be upon us as we define righteousness in our own lives and how we value it within community and within our relationship with not only others, but with you. Bless us, Lord, with a deeper understanding of what righteousness means in our lives so that we can be all that you've created us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you.